And after all that, the Villanova Knicks have ended before they even began. News just broke by Shams Chinaria. I believe that's how you say his last name, but if I'm saying it incorrectly, I apologize. That the Knicks, the New York Knicks, trading for Carl Anthony Towns, and they will be sending to the Minnesota Timberwolves in return Julius Randle, Dante DiVincenzo, and a first round pick by way of the Detroit Pistons. Detroit. This is a crazy trade, and I was expecting something like this to happen. I didn't know what players were going to get dealt, but I feel like always like a month to like three weeks before the season, there's always some crazy going on, some crazy shit that goes down where it's just kind of the whole narrative of the league just like changes and makes everything way different than how we were kind of predicting things to go before. And I don't know how much it really does right now. This is kind of my like my like gut reaction. But I'm just upset that they got rid of Dante before they could even, you know, run with the true Villanova Knicks. Like you gave away nearly all of your future for Mikhail Bridges and to then trade Dante DiVincenzo so quickly after I just don't really understand it I mean Carl Anthony Towns is a real superstar in the league and pairing him with Jalen Brunson is a very very interesting move and I think it can be a good move but I don't think you really needed it you know, I would have kept the team the same and kind of just, you know, written it out. And I understand they wanted to get rid of Julius Randle, but this couldn't have been the only offer they had on the table. But, I mean, if we're looking at it, it probably was, like, their best offer in terms of getting a guy like Cat, who was under contract for a long time. This is probably the best move they probably could have made so I can't blame them for making the move but it's also interesting on the part of the Timberwolves because you just had like your best season ever (laughs) with you know Carl Anthony Towns being a big piece of it so why would you I, I get you know you're getting good pieces back you're getting a first round pick from Detroit that's obviously like probably going to be a high draft pick Julius Randle's good but he's probably on the downside of his career at this point and Dante DiVincenzo could be a really good piece for you but he seems like he's kind of get put in a log jam with the other players you kind of have you know in the backcourt you have Anthony Edwards you have Mike Conley you just drafted Rob Dillingham you know like where is um where's Dante gonna play you know, are you going to play him at the three? You going to play him at the four? Like, I just don't really, I don't know what you're going to do with the roster. And I liked what they did last year, and I thought it would have made sense for them to run it back, but maybe the front office is thinking something different, clearly. So, I don't know. It's an interesting trade. It's a really interesting trade. This was not a trade that I was expecting. If there was going to be a blockbuster Right before the season, I was expecting it to be Jimmy Butler going somewhere. But, you know, maybe that will still happen. But this one is definitely crazier. And I'm just sad, man. Like, I wanted to see the Villanova Knicks because I think, like, the chemistry aspect of it is so important. And that would have been a really, really interesting team to watch. And it's going to be interesting to see if this kind of, like, throws it off now. Where it's like, I'm sure all of them kind of were really excited to have Mikhail there because it was like, oh yeah, we're all like back together. And then to just trade Dante right before it starts is like kind of, I feel like it's not just like a slap in the face to Dante, it's also a slap in the face to like, you know, Jalen, Josh, and Mikhail because they all probably want Dante to be there. So it's just it's just very strange to me i i find it very odd that they made a trade like this but 
you know, maybe it'll work out and it'll be really, really good for them. But time will tell. Time will certainly tell. But Dante was just coming off the best season of his career. 15.5 points per game. You know, playing 29 minutes a game. Started the second most games in his career, you know, in a year. And he had a lot of really good games. So it, I just find it interesting. I don't know why you'd want to switch up the dynamic like this. And, you know, Cat's obviously the best player out of all of them. You know, he just ended his year. You know, he had a 60-plus point game, 21.8 points per game. He was an all-star. You know, he he's a really, really good player. You can really plug him into, like, any situation, and he's going to do a good job for you. He's a really good three-point shooter, too, so that adds a, you know, aspect of depth to their lineup. And, like, that's the other thing is, Julius Randle is kind of like a four. Like, you can play him at the five if you're running a small lineup, but Cat, you can run as the five in, like, a bigger lineup, and he's still, like, a stretch five. But I guess my question now is also, like, what do you do with Mitchell Robinson? Is that even, like, a thing anymore? Like, Mitchell Robinson gets hurt all the time. I've said many times that he's made out of glass, but is there you know, a trade route for him now? Are you trying to get rid of him so you can bring in someone else at a different position? Like, it's just, it's going to be interesting because I feel like this isn't the only domino that they're dropping. Like, there's got to be something else that they're thinking of as well. So, you guys let me know. I mean, I, I'm not a Knicks fan, but I pay close attention to the Knicks because most of my friends are Knicks fans, and, you know, I grew up in the tri-state, so... I get a lot of Knicks games that I watch and things like that. So it's going to be fun to watch this team, but they fucked it up, man. The Villanova Knicks were supposed to do some crazy, crazy stuff. But I guess that story will never be told.